that's Reliance Infrastructure, 471 right now, how about seven odd points. Numbers came in, a good set of numbers were posted, BAT was up 32% and sales grew by almost 150%. Mr. Lalit Jalan is joining in right now to discuss the numbers of Reliance Infra. Uh, he joins us uh, to start off first with the segmental breakup, particularly EPC business which led the growth in quarter four, as well as the overall outlook for FY13. No, we have had, uh, uh, good morning, we have had a very encouraging uh, quarter and uh, year uh, for Alliance Infrastructure. Uh, we have had a record uh, turnover of 24,270 crores, uh, which is a growth of 59 percent. Our uh, net profit is uh, 1587, which is also a record for the company, which is a growth of 2 percent. Our EBITDA margins. Uh, at 3,544 crores uh, has seen a growth of 42 percent and even at EBIT margins uh, have shown a substantial 50 percent uh, plus growth. We expect uh, FY13 we see a growth uh, in our energy segment uh, with all our generating plants and distribution companies uh, performing well. Uh, EPC business which we had a spectacular growth uh, in FY12. Uh, we expect to maintain uh, our business for the current year. And in the infrastructure segment, uh, where we saw a threefold growth in turnover uh, in FY12, we expect to see another uh, quantum jump and we expect to almost do a thousand crore turnover uh, in FY13. Right. Uh, Mr. Jalan, you know, the industry for itself has also been facing pressures with regards to the interest burden and that has been a key drag for you as well, which has increased about 110 percent on a year-on-year -year basis. How do you plan to scale this burden down? See, many of our projects uh, are uh, becoming operational uh, uh, in, in the infrastructure segment and as the project becomes operational, the entire interest burden uh, for the project uh, hits the uh, PNL, and that is the reason uh, that you have seen uh, the interest going up uh, so substantially, which is because of uh, the road projects and the Delhi Metro all becoming operational uh, in the current year. So, in the initial years, uh, this burden of interest would be there. We are looking at ways and means to optimize the interest cost uh, with the uh, approvals in place uh, to be able to replace uh, the rupee debts with foreign debts. We are in discussions with uh, various lenders. Hmm. Also comment on the margins which have dropped this time and how you plan to bring that up? No, we expect uh, that uh, uh, in FI13 uh, we are able to maintain our margins. You would also said that you know, you're going to look at commissioning three of your transmission assets in FY13 to FY14. An update on that? Is that, is that still on track? Yeah, uh, we expect the Western Region uh, uh, transmission project to be fully ready by the end of this uh, calendar year. Our uh, Bombay transmission project, uh, we have already commissioned uh, the four EHV stations and uh, the other two would get commissioned uh, in this financial year. Our uh, Parvati Coal Dam uh, joint venture project with Power Grid, the first line would get operational by the end of this financial year. So we expect that uh, by the end of this financial year, all these three projects uh, would be operational. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Chalam, reports are suggesting that you're seeking more tariff hike for the Delhi distribution business. I mean, do you expect tariffs to hike, uh, the tariff hike to actually come through in Delhi? If you look at the uh, power distribution business, 80% uh, of uh, what we recover uh, from a consumer goes towards power purchase and uh, you are aware uh, that the power purchase costs are going up dramatically uh, owing to several factors. First is the increase in the price of domestic coal uh, and the freight. Secondly is the non-availability of domestic coal which means the power producers like NTPC or uh, Delhi generating companies uh, or DBC, uh, they are having to import coal uh, 
to meet the requirements and then we are getting a lot of new projects uh, coming into operation whose fixed costs are much higher than the older projects. So, if you look uh, in Delhi, the power purchase cost last year for us has gone up by almost 30 percent. Uh, since we are a distributor and we have no control over these costs, these costs need to be passed through and uh, that is the cost that we have asked uh, for the regulator to give to us. If you look at our distribution cost, I will give you an example of Delhi. At the time of privatization, our uh, distribution cost was at 90 paisa per unit. After 9 years with an, an average of 8 to 9 percent inflation, our costs are now at 45 paisa per unit. So, we have brought in huge amount of efficiency and the entire benefit of this efficiency has gone uh, to our valued consumers. So, the tariff increase that we are looking for is only to take care of the increased costs of uh, the generating companies and 100 percent of the power that we buy uh, in Delhi uh, is from NTPC, Delhi Generating Station, uh, NHPC, Nuclear Power Corporation, uh, the largest being NTPC at 70 percent of our total requirement. Right, Mr. Jalan, uh, just one last word. Any plans on uh, you know getting a stake sale done in the operational as uh, operational road and infrastructure projects to pay investors to bring about some cash infusion? Uh, we this is part of a strategy uh, that we had uh, uh, announced a couple of years back. As each of our vertical businesses uh, are coming of size, uh, we would always look at uh, ways and means uh, to monetize uh, part of our equity and that is uh, to bring in value for our shareholders in Reliance Infrastructure uh, who have invested this money in these 100 percent owned uh, 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 SPVs. So, we have the transmission, uh, distribution, roads, metros. In each of these sub segments, we are uh, the largest or amongst the largest players uh, in the space and there is a lot of interest uh, from uh, potential investors uh, in taking uh, part uh, in this opportunity. Right. Mr. Jalan, thanks very much for joining in and, and uh, dis discussing the quarter four performance. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.